Paul. Yes. Michael. Yes. What a treat to have you guys here in the Adirondacks and a first for Mountain Lake Journal Extra. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Treat is ours. The dad, the son, <laughs> starring in the same movie and not the best of friends as characters in the movie. <laughs> no. How did this come about? Well, uh, it comes about through Michael having done the first promotional work on this uh, nine, ten years ago, right, yeah. Mike? And uh, nine years ago. I, had a, I saw the footage and I was impressed with that and impressed with, uh, with uh, Bailey and uh, the footage I saw and with Michael's take on it. Lori Bailey, the director. Lori Bailey. And uh, uh, Michael and I do look for things to do together. It's, uh, it's just that we, we did a movie called The Trouble with Cali, which is in post-production right now. We're doing another movie. We didn't uh, act in that one together, but my father directed and I produced. We were both in it, but we had no scenes together. Yes. And you're still speaking. <laughs> we have the best relationship. Yeah. And uh, so, um, and we have another one we're going to do probably in July. So a lot of very good things going on, and we like to do it. So R Michael can tell you more specifically how it started. Go. Go. All right. Well, uh, I auditioned for Laurie and uh, company uh, back in 2001. Uh, when the project was in its very, very early development. And, uh, you know, liked the project, liked them. Uh, I guess they liked me, and we, uh, we started working together and kind of uh, toying around with some stuff. Um, and uh, I basically got to be friends with them as well. And uh, to actually have the project come full circle to where it is now, to, you know, be ready to shoot and uh, complete and, and finish a film, it, it took almost 10 years, and uh, I was so happily surprised to hear about it again that it was coming around, kind of coming around the mountain, you know, and uh, uh, which is ironic because, of course, we are the uh, owners of the Cattle Mountain uh, Mining Company in uh, <laughs> in the story. So uh, you know, your favorite movie took 10 years to get on, don't you? Well, Driving Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy. Took 10 years. Oh, it did. One of my very favorite. Movies. Nothing new. Every, everything. Trouble with Cali took 14 years to get going. It, it's and common. Still very common. Yeah. 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 But uh, here we are again, and uh, it couldn't have worked out much better, I don't think. We're going to have a lot of fun with the roles and play off of each other. And, uh, and we have know. a couple of weeks up here in God's country. Yeah. So, not bad. <laughs> what attracted you both, though, to two different parts in the same movie? Uh, well, basically, uh, they got in contact uh, through somebody else with us again, and they, they offered us these roles. And uh, we, um, you know, I, the movie was termed Switchback now. And I was, you know, I was thinking maybe this is the same one that I was with so long ago. And, uh, you know, we looked at it and I said, you know, Dad, this is, it's, it's a, a small movie, but it's got a good story. It's got uh, uh, really great uh, uh, characters and, and uh, period piece, uh, you know, sets and, and costumes. And it would be really kind of neat because we'd play this kind of father-son duo who goes in and, uh, you know, uh, exploits uh, people who are on the ropes and companies, but we also have a bit of an adversarial r relationship ourselves. I'm rather severe yes. with him. Yes, and I, I'm very detail-oriented, and I push things kind of, and much to his annoyance, and yes, so, um, in any way, <laughs> a little jump into our characters there, but, uh, you know, it's kind of fun because, uh, you know, we, we get to play a team, but who is also... Uh, team which is also at each other's throats a little bit in the course of things, uh, not in a huge way, but it's it's kind of comical, uh, it's active, and uh, it's going to be great to be working with all these people. And it's always nice to be able to work with your family if you love your family, so it's always the best thing to be able to work with them. In the old days, uh, people did you know Harkness and Son, you know, and Sons and so forth, and, and companies would be passed on as they are Ford, for instance, and all of that. The Barrymores are still going. Uh, the Drews, the, the, the John Drew, and so all of that goes down the line and, and it becomes dynastic. Uh, we are an acting and performing and writing and directing family and uh, we all love each other so the best thing is to do is to, is to work together whenever possible. So my next question was going to be, and I think you've answered it, is you guys get along great, great. We do. Yeah. off screen yeah. Yeah. and that's the key to making it work on screen. Well, it is and it isn't. I mean, yeah, we, we have our moments like everybody else, too. I mean, you know, we, we sometimes argue or, or, or bicker or, or, you know, want to prove a certain point. We have different ways of looking at it, but we both respect each other, too. So it's, it's uh, you know, 
It's the always, hard thing uh, is being, I'm always right. And when you're always, <laughs> <laughs> see, I thought I made a mistake last week, but I was wrong. So. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. So, so I thought we could have fun with things like that. Yeah, and with, that's, with that's these, the fun, these, these the parts, that part. You know? Whenever you do something that's creative, you're going to take yourself. You only have yourself to bring to this anyway. And so in tandem in this one, we take little sections and blow them up. When I played a mafioso in, in, in uh, Goodfellas, that's no part of me at all. There's a little kernel somewhere that knows about that because everybody knows about wanting power. Everybody knows about wanting to acquire things. I know nothing about gangsters, but I know about wanting something. I played a... A drug addict in the picture, the cooler. Mm -hmm. I know nothing about drugs. I've never done drugs. I don't know about drugs. I've never seen a person in a fit uh, needing drugs, but I know what it is to want something desperately. So you take those little things that are part of your own personality, in this case, part of our, our relationship, to some of the few little bickering things, mm -hmm. and that works. And you take that and you right. blow that up, and that becomes the sum and substance of the on film relationship. And that's why it's valuable. We have that, we don't have to create it. We don't have to get together and have dinners and try to figure one out. We know right where to go. I mean, it's just, oh, Dad, yeah, oh, uh, Mike, let's, uh, remember that? Okay, we're going. Yeah. Roll them. How much, how many times, Michael, do you go to your dad uh -huh. for acting advice? Or is that off limits? No. Is, not, it up to, is it up to you to come up with a character, or can you work it out together? Because he's even got his, the experience, I mean, he's got right. more experience than Oh, you. sure, he's done <clears throat> 15 times what I've done. Um, so but, it's great uh, to have him in the next room. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, I. I I've but he advises me too. Uh -huh. Well, uh, in <laughs> fact, he's my business advisor. I'm two other businesses that I have, uh, three uh, actually, and he's my business advisor. He's also the head of my film company. So uh, there's a lot there that, because of his own take on things, which in certain ways is far superior to mine. Um, where I might have a blind side, he'll say, okay, Dad, this is what and he'll analyze. He's much better at analyzing situations that have emotional components. He's much better at skirting that than I am. I'm much, I'm, I'm a fool's rush in kind of fellow. He's not. And he will say, Dad, okay, let's talk about it. And gives, and so not only that, but also from a technical point of view, he'll say, Dad, I like that, what you're doing. That, that idea looks good to me. So we help each other that way because we both have a good eye. I have much more experience, but when he knows, he knows. And that doesn't mean I know everything I don't. Nobody does. Well, thank you for that. That's true. I, 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 and I, I agree, we do really actually help each other in uh, not just the business end of things, but the creative. Um, you know, I, I was just asking him the other day what he thought about if I play, you know, my role a certain way, and what he was, I was asking him what he planned to do with it himself, too, you know. And I kind of had it in my mind how it was going to go anyway, and it was interesting to to then see him do it. It was exactly as I had pictured him. Well, he knows me trying. so well. He knew what so I would I knew choose. It would be a really good part for him, <laughs> and it would be fun for me too to do it. And you know, I said, "Why not? Let's let's go and be a father son team in in real life and on screen, uh, once again here." You know, and he produced the movie we that I shot, and he also starred in it called that "The Trouble with Cali." So we worked together role, for but... years. Oh, well, you, that's a star. That's a lead role. What you didn't. It's one Kelly, of these, but it's not. Leads. It's not the main. No, character. it's not yeah. the starring but, role. But it. Right. But no, we've worked together for years and years. That's not a problem. That's we like that. We did a movie a long time ago. Uh, I guess ten or Perfume. more years ago. Yeah. Perfume. Perfume. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we played father and son in that. Yeah. And that was yeah. the only other thing where we did. I played a like gay uh, <laughs> fashion designer, and uh, not in the closet either. And Peter. Peter Gallagher. Peter Gallagher was my lover, right? <laughs> Now, if you ever wanted two guys who are more <laughs> antithetical to that kind of a role, it would be me and Peter. I said, if you try to kiss me, I'm going to deck you. He said, you, me, outside, now. It was great. We had a, we had a marvelous time, you know. It was quite interesting. 